Okay, so you have a website with many pages now, and you followed the steps that I just showed you to expand your website, and you started to see some results, and that's great. But here's where it gets explosive. Here's how you can turn from a trickle of traffic to an almost uncontrollable fire hose of new visitors. Remember, we want to make Google love us. So if we make those pages, pages that Google really likes, then you're on your way. You see, Google has these machines that crawl around the internet to see what's out there. Then when they find your site, they'll make notes on what they see. And because of this, when they reach your website, it's our job now to make sure that they see something they want to see. Because the more they love you, the closer to number one you'll be. And of course, remember, the closer to number one you rank, the more traffic you'll receive. Okay, so here are six quick and easy steps to turn your new web pages into pages that Google will simply love. Now again, the software we use makes it really easy to implement these steps. But before we do, the first thing we want to do is make a list of the phrases we want to compete for. Okay, so for each page of your website, come up with a list of three or four keywords or phrases that you think people will type in Google to find your website. So once you have that list, the very first thing you want to do, which is number two on our list, is to put those words in the title of your web pages. Okay, now do you see up here in this blue strip here, well in my case black, the title is simply website, which is a very bad use of the title tag. If I click through the website, notice how it continues to say website. The title is one of the first things Google takes a look at when trying to determine what your website is all about. So let's go back to the editor and change the title of this page, The Growing Crisis in Colombia, to include those list of keywords or key phrases that I mentioned. To do that, it's very simple. You simply click on Page Layout and type in your title tag. Okay, when you're done, all you do is you hit Publish Page. And after you hit Publish Page, we can take a look at the site. Remember, it publishes immediately. And you'll see the title has changed, Summer House Orphans, Summer House Foundation, and the rest of our keywords. The title tag is very powerful in giving you an almost instant boost in your search engine rankings. Okay, let's move to number three. Put that phrase in your headlines. Obviously a headline is the bold statement that's made at the top, but Google needs to know that it's a headline. So how do you do that? Well, there's certain tags up here called your header tags. And if you set it to heading one, that tells Google that that's an important statement regarding your website. And it treats that with high importance. So even though the, the heading is the growing crisis in Colombia, we want to make it such that it includes the keywords we chose, but still be relevant to the people who are reading it. So we might say the growing crisis in Colombia, a summer house orphan relief in Colombia. You'll remember that as part of our keywords, summer house orphans, that's one. And also we have orphan relief in Colombia. So now our head of headline tag includes our keywords very powerful. Then you want to make sure to tag your subheads with heading 2 and heading 3 tags. So here we might say Colombian 
orphans that was one of our keywords and children since we're about to talk about children and make that a heading too okay not too hard hit publish and of course instantly transfers the document number four sprinkle those words throughout each web page this one should go without saying you want to make sure that the content in your web page includes those keywords okay and we can already see that summer house foundation is there and here it is again summer house foundation maybe we can add something that says orphan relief maybe right here we can say providing orphan relief okay we can unbold that and you get the idea you just go through the page and sprinkle your keywords throughout the page where it fits of course you want to maintain readability so hit publish again and you should be good to go okay number five create links and add the phrase in the link text okay a link is that blue underline you see and what appears inside of the link text is also considered important to Google so one of the pages that we might create might be called orphan relief which is also one of our keywords so we might at the end say uh, learn more about orphan relief or rather donate to orphan relief in Colombia so to link that to our donation page you simply highlight you click hyperlink and go down and choose your don your donation page okay so when Google sees a link they treat that with more importance and because orphan relief is one of our keywords when people search in Google for orphan relief they will see the donation page and they will see this growing crisis in Columbia page and of course you hit publish when you're ready alright number six meta tags now there's a debate going around the internet as to whether or not this has any impact anymore see meta tags back in the day used to be all of what search engines use to determine what your site was about but now they've gotten smarter and it has taken a lot less if any significance at all but rather than argue the merits of any side of the debate I just say throw it in there anyway because it can't hurt you and it takes almost no time and I'm gonna show you how to do that meta tags are called in the program search engine keyword so all you do is you go to page layout again and you hit search engine keywords and you paste in your keywords but this time we'll separate them by commas separate your meta tags by commas just think of meta tags as keywords or key phrases okay incidentally this description tag is important to Google as well when you type the phrase orphans in Google or anything in Google what you choose anyone you see a blue underlined title and that's your title tag and you also see a description okay so you want to treat your description as pretty important because that's what people are gonna see and make their decision as to whether to click on your website so you go ahead and type a description there but load that with your keywords too okay if you notice this is loaded with our keywords and it provides an incentive for people to know what it's about know what they're getting to when they click on it hit OK and your description is made and you hit publish now I just gave you six great things you can do right now on your website to make it look favorable in Google's eyes and thus grow your traffic but I've been saving the final biggest secret that will give you huge results when you implement it.